Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how we can use regular expression to extract all the professor's name in Harry Potter novel. So let's get started. First of all, I want to remind everyone that this video is actually on a series of regular expression. And this series has been broken into three sections. In my previous videos, which I will provide a link in the description below, I talk about section 1 and section 2. Section 1 is the regular expression as general topic, and section 2 is to implement regular expression in Python. In this video, we are going to talk about section 3, which is to do some fun projects on Harry Potter novel. We are going to focus on extract all professors in the novel series. We are also going to talk about extract all proper nouns in the Harry Potter series. But because when I was extracting all proper nouns, I used some advanced regular expression techniques that I didn't talk about before. So I'm just going to talk about some general idea on how to approach this and I will have the code ready in the GitHub but I'm not going to deep dive into how to extract all proper nouns. Okay, so first let's talk about how we can extract professors using regular expression. It is actually very simple because assuming that JK Rowling used the title professor on every professors, then our match can be start with professor and then a white space followed by the professor's name. We can expect the first letter of professor's name is capitalized. So we have capital A to Z as our first character and then followed by one or more word characters. Okay, these word characters include both capitalized letter and lowercase letter. I also have this hyphen because one of the professor's name has a hyphen in it. So that's basically the regular expression that can be used to extract all the professor's name. Okay, let's see the result. If we use the above regular expression pattern, we can extract 32 professors. Okay, most of them should be pretty familiar. Also, sometimes JK Rowling use Professor Snape or Professor Severus. So sometimes he, she is using first name, sometimes she is using last name. So that's why we are getting like two professors from the same people. Also, very interesting. If I didn't do this exercise, I almost forgot, which is that Novel Longbottom actually becomes a professor 19 years later. So that's why he is the last professor that's being detected. Yeah, so Novel Longbottom is also a professor. Okay, I also asked the same question on ChatGPT. How many professors are there in Harry Potter novel series? Please also list their name. So ChatGPT replied like 15 professors. We detect all of them except this centaur fiance which teaches divination for one semester. The reason we didn't detect it is because JK Rowling never used the title professor on fiance. So that's also an interesting fact. Okay, so that's for how we can use regular expression to extract all professors then. Now how about to extract all proper nouns in regular expression. So proper nouns are nouns that represent either place, people, or things, important things. One special characteristics about the proper nouns are that the first letters, first letters are capitalized. So our job is just to find words with their first letter capitalized but we want to exclude the first words in sentences or quotations because the first words in sentences and quotations are also having the first letter capitalized but they are not necessarily the proper noun so we are going to exclude that and that's basically the general idea of how we can extract all proper nouns using regular expression. Okay, I think it's ready for us to look some code. So to start, we need to import this 
regular expression packages, which is RE, and then import OS for operating system operations, such as uh, listing the directory. We need to use these OS packages. Okay, the first thing I did is I want to list all the chapter files. So remember, my raw data for the Harry Potter novel are separated into chapters, and then each chapter has its own file. So first thing I need to do is list all the file names and then I'm going to read the entire novel series into a long long string so what I need to do is I will need to loop through each file name within each loop I'm going to extract the chapter content and then initially I starting a empty string but every time when I run the loop I'm going to append the chapter contents to the back of this long string okay and then make sure I have a white space to separate one chapter content from another chapter content that way once we exit the loop the entire Harry Potter novel will be saved under this long string now the next step is to find out how we can extract all professors name using regular expressions so when I first started, I didn't know whether J.K. Rowling used the capital P professor with everything spelled out or lowercase p professor with also everything spelled out or just the shorthand capitalized P with P-R-O-F and a dot in the end. An easy way to find out the answer is just to list out all the context surrounding capitalized P professor, lowercase p professor, or the shorthand professor. To do so, we can use this non-capture group with professors having an OR operations, lowercase professors having another OR operations, and then professor shorthand. But this non-capturing group will be surrounded by any character which is represented by dot in regular expression, 30 of them followed by also 30 of any characters. So if we do that, we can see in this cell that all the professors are in between and then it's followed by the professor's name and then every time J.K. Rowling refers to a professor, she actually spells it out with the first P capitalized. Of course, it doesn't mean that every time we see a capitalized P professor, we are going to have the professor's name followed by that. But anyway, so at least we get our answer. And then if we scroll down, uh, very, very quickly I found a mistake that I made, which is this profoundly Okay, so how does this profoundly being extract as a pattern? This is because this shorthand POF dot, actually I need that to be a literal dot, but I forgot to do that. So it's going to match any character. That's why PROF and then this O followed by that is part of the match. So that's just a mistake. I intendedly not correcting it just to show you uh, we need to be careful whenever we write our regular expression. Okay, this cell of code is just me that using the same regular expression but writing out all these results into a file which I named Harry Potter Professor Context underscore one dot text. These lines of code just try to remove if this file already exists i'm trying to remove that because over here i'm going to use the appending mode so if i don't remove the existing one every time i run this code this file is just going to get longer and longer okay and then i'm going to when i print out the counter counter just means that how many lines of professor context did we extract we actually got about 1900 lines okay so on this cell of code I'm going to write just the professor's name to the file and I want to make sure that all the names are unique. So how do I do that? First of all, I am using almost the same regular expression but now I'm having a white space after the professor with the first P capitalized and then followed by the professor's name with the first letter capitalized just as what I described before okay and then i'm going to initialize an empty list the name of this empty list is list of professors i'm going to delete the file professor underscore context underscore two if it already exists 
Otherwise, I'm just going to loop through all of the regular expression result and I'm going to just grab group number one, which is this professor's name as my group number one. This is group number one because I have it surrounded by an open and closed parenthesis. Okay, so if that professor's name is already exist in the list of professors, then we are going to skip this loop. If not, then we are going to append this new professor's name under this list. Okay, and then we are going to write result into this Harry Potter professor context underscore two. If we do that, you can see we are going to find 35 results and the results are listed over here. So first of all, we already got a pretty good result, but we still got this single letter M, single letter R, single letter H, etc. So we need to figure out what's going on. Now let's take a look at this Harry Potter Professor Context 2 to understand what's going on. Okay, so over here, this is Harry Potter Professor Context number 2. And you can see we have McGonagall, which is the first result over here. Dumbledore is the second result over here. But sometimes McGonagall is refers to M. McGonagall, and that is the reason we only extracting a single letter M over here. So this time when J.K. Rowling referred to looping is Professor R. J. Looping, that's why we only got a single letter R over here. So I'm just going to simply remove all these special cases. Uh, another special case is that this Grubbly Plank, Professor Grubbly Plank actually has a hyphen uh, between her name. So if we don't have a hyphen, then it will just be Grubbly. So we also need to add one hyphen as part of our regular expression here. Okay, so we, we need to basically change this regular expression to this. The difference is that now, instead of just followed by a word character, we are having word characters plus a hyphen. And then the quantifier is also different. Before we are using zero or more, that will result in this single letter professor. Now we are changing to a plus sign, which means one or more. That way, this single letter professor's cases will not be show up. So if we do that and then do everything again, now this time I'm saving the context into Harry Potter context underscore three. We are going to get 32 professors, which is the result that I showed earlier. Okay, also uh, if we search for the context around Professor Firenze, we can see that every time when JK Rowling referred to Firenze, she never used the professor title and that's why we couldn't detect him in our regular expression exercise. Okay, then this cell of code is, is the code that I'm extracting all the proper nouns and because I'm using some advanced technique in regular expression called negative look back, which is the part I'm highlighting here. Uh, so I'm probably not going to go into too much detail. Uh, I'm just going to show you the result. So as you can see, like Privet drive is a proper noun. Groundings is a proper noun. Dursley is a proper noun. Harry is a proper noun. Potter, you know who. Muggles, Muggle. So this is how I'm extracting all the proper nouns. Leaky cauldron. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to upload both my code and all these results that I'm saving in the text file. I'm going to upload that in my GitHub so that if you are interested, you can take a look at it. Okay, that's pretty much for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next video.